Certainly is, Sharice and Karen. We are only about a block from the University of New Orleans and neighbors here on Vermilion say that last night's carjacking was a crime of opportunity that hit too close to home. Home security video shows a man and a woman sitting in a car in the 6200 block of Vermilion shortly before 7 Tuesday night. Two young men approach the car. One of them pulls a gun and points it at the person in the passenger seat. They order the occupants out of the car, get in and drive away. The camera on this man's house recorded the crime. He said there was a car casing the neighborhood before the carjacking. He did not want us to show his face. They dropped the, the young individuals off at the end of the block. Uh, then they came back and they, um, you know, they, they held them up at gunpoint and stole their vehicle and I believe a purse and a laptop. The video shows a second vehicle speeding behind the carjackers. Somebody uh, with a, a, a pistol pointed it in somebody's face uh, and stealing their property when they were just sitting there, you know, keeping to themselves, not bothering anybody. It's very concerning, actually. Scott Fatland lives next door to the people who were carjacked. Like, I could have been sitting outside smoking a cigarette and I might not have had a car, but you know, my wallet, my anything I have on me, entry to my house, like, who knows? Police are still searching for the car and the two men who stole it. The NOPD is investigating an unrelated carjacking about a mile away. It happened near Spain and Mirabu around 2 Tuesday afternoon. According to police, three girls ages 16, 13, and 12 dragged a woman out of her car. The girls drove a few blocks with the woman hanging onto the hood before she fell off. Carlos Lopez was painting a house nearby. She was on the hood. She was screaming for help. Uh, whoever was driving the car was backing up. Like, they didn't know how to drive, seemed to me. Like, they didn't know how to drive because they almost crashed with another car right there. And p police did arrest the three suspects in that Marabou carjacking back here on Vermilion. Neighbors say since they live so close to UNO, they would like the UNO Police Department to help patrol this neighborhood. They point out that a lot of students and UNO employees either live in this neighborhood or park here. We're live in Gentilly, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.